Alright. Item SCP-4364. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-4364 is to be held in a standard humanoid containment chamber on a medical bed. Daily peripheral parenterial nutrition is to be administered via IV drip. Any and all food requested by 4364 is to be provided immediately. In the event of 4364 expiration, a full autopsy is to be performed and an expiration team dispatched into 4364. Description 4364 is a 28-year-old human male of West African descent who answers to the name of ben Benjamin Foster. 4364 is 1.8 meters tall and 34.5 kilograms in weight. He's a tall guy. Huh? Well, you know how tall 1.8 meters is, right? No. Let me just uh, translate that into feet. One point eight meters is come on, you Google. There we go. It's almost six foot. Yeah, so he's, he's a tall guy. Got it. Not like super tall, but... Yeah. That would be if he was two meters. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, evidence of extreme malnourishment and malnutrition are present, including ribs visible through the skin, extreme lack of muscle mass, and low levels of energy. 4364's appetite is self-described as insatiable and will spend most of its waking hours attempting See anything it considers to be edible. 4364 has not suffered any expected ill effects from consuming materials which would normally be hazardous to human health. Despite a near constant intake of nutrition, 4364 has consist consistently lost weight since entering containment. Induced vomiting to discover the contents of 4364's stomach reveal no food or partially digested material. Only large amounts of bile and blood. 4364 has numerous tattoos, most notably the anime ink figure positioned directly over its stomach. As 4364 consumes food, this figure will take on a distended abdomen, grow in size, and attain a content expression. There appears to be no upper limit as to how large a tattoo can become aside from the actual mass of 4364 itself. And it, it has frequently covered 4364's other markings by overlapping them completely. Other tattoos present on 4364 depict various numbers in what are assumed to be ra ratio values. These ratios are 2320, 1527, and 6919-20. 4364 also has a small tattoo of a sleeping panda bear on his right forearm. So, the tattoo eats everything that goes in his stomach. That's why the containment procedures uh, involve uh, parenteral nutrition. Which mm -hmm. basically means it avoids the stomach. Yeah. Alright, so, addendum 4364... Slash one. Searchable operations to view the stomach of SCP-4364 conducted on January redacted 2018. It was discovered that 4364 lacks his stomach and instead has a circular opening of immeasurable depth only visible from inside of its body. A small depth tracker has dropped into the cavity at the time of writing. The tracker has fallen to, I want to say redacted because it keeps growing in number. Which I think is really fucking cool. <laughs> that is cool, but terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Redacted meters deep. Scar tissue from the operation has passed through 4364. Stomach tattoo is not visible. Alright, so that's the end of the anomaly. It's short, and it actually describes the character in perfect detail. Yeah, also, that tattoo's an asshole. 
Oh my god, I just saw the thumbnail. Why? From 1 to 10, is it racist? Um... I, I would say so. <laughs> oh no. Remember what the character is supposed to look like? Yes, a black man. West African, to be exact. <laughs> so, look at the thumbnail. Oh no! <laughs> the SCP is supposed to be a malnourished West African man. <laughs> this is the thumbnail. Yes. <laughs> Reach for those glasses. <laughs> the fuck is going on with that picture? He's also supposed to have multiple tattoos. So they does drew... he look like a malnourished West African man that's almost six feet tall with tattoos? Absolutely not. Uh, Jerry, here's what they did. They com <laughs> they combined uh, a European with an average American. <laughs> That's not an average American, and that's not how Europeans look. I was joking this about American obesity. It, it's not funny simply because All right. they that's whitewashed fair. him. Yeah, they I know. They whitewashed him. Are we ready? Well, we gotta put a four for thumbnail because they took everything off. All right, so before oh, we continue yeah. the video, did they do the Creative Commons license correctly? So they've done it wrong before. Oh, user deleted. I guess the user left the site. That, that, that can happen. Yeah, which means it was created by Taylor Itkin. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just assume they did it right, but let's see if they mess up so much that it turns into a four anyway. Alright. Like, let's face it, if that fat guy is supposed to be the SCP, it's probably going to end up a four anyway. Yep. We ready? Yeah. The man stood up. He was uneasy on his feet. Apparently, this new Sodabi was stronger than he had expected. He waved to his friends as he told them he needed to get some sleep. His new wife would kill him if he wasn't home soon. As he walked away, the flames of the bonfire slowly faded into darkness and the laughing of his friends with it. He'd always been able to drink his fair share, but tonight... Oh, shoot. I'm sorry I have to start it over, but I, I forgot to put the thumbnail away on the street. Oh, that's okay. Also, I hope they didn't change the SCP's name from Benjamin Foster to Adobe. I hope that's someone unrelated. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. The man stood up. He was uneasy on his feet. Apparently, this new Sodabi was stronger than he had expected. He waved to his friends as he told them he needed to get some sleep. His new wife would kill him if he wasn't home soon. As he walked away, the flames of the bonfire slowly faded into darkness and the laughing of his friends with it. He'd always been able to drink his fair share, but tonight had been different. How come his friends weren't drunk? Never mind, he thought to himself as he stumbled over a rock. He'd be home soon to sleep it off. He walked on, what? but something felt different now. It was as if a cold wind had blown past. He stopped we'll find out. and looked back. But there was nothing there. Strange. Oh God, they he shook off the that. feeling of fear and continued his walk <laughs> home. He looked up to the sky. It had been a beautiful, star-filled night. However, he saw nothing now oh, but clouds. That didn't seem right. But maybe it was the moonshine he'd been drinking, blurring his vision and senses. He continued on. The hairs on the back of his neck stood up. He couldn't That's shake the feeling that. that someone... <laughs> Yeah, okay, Jerry. Well, they basically gave him a fat chin and then they made the neck kind of thin. Yeah. You know how wrong that looks? You're an artist too, you should know. <laughs> you should know how that's not how you do it. 
<laughs> or something <laughs> was following him. He whipped around. I see you. But there was no one there. Look at you, <laughs> he thought to himself, scared of your own damn shadow. <laughs> he laughed it off and continued on his way. Up ahead on the dirt path, he saw something on the ground. It looked like a small doll, perhaps what? dropped by a child on the way back home. He bent down to pick it up. As he lifted it to his face, I have no idea. He gasped at what was in his hands. The doll. It was him. He heard a voice from behind him. They're bringing voodoo. <laughs> voodoo is not in West Africa, as far as I know. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the anomaly either. <laughs> I believe voodoo is not in West Africa, but I'm looking it up just to be sure. Okay, ba Badun is a religion in West Africa. And uh, what's Ba done? <laughs> you can't destroy I believe in you. But so far, this has absolutely nothing to do I with think, the anomaly. I think Voodoo is descended from. Ah. Let's see. Alright, we're back. We're fucking back. Sorry about that. OBS being a bitch. <laughs> so basically, they mixed Vodun and Voodoo. Voodoo evolved from Vodun, but is not Vodun. And I just feel like the only thing I can say about this is this is so racist. <laughs> It's why we have the off offensive tier. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. I mean, the the American religion now tossed in West Africa because, sure, voodoo and Vodun are totally the same exact thing, even though one <laughs> is older than the other. Yes, exactly. Anyways. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Sleep now. The last thing he remembered was a sweet smell as he passed out. That's, that's Welcome back. You, Today I bring. It. What the fuck? <laughs> the bokers are basically the priests. They're, <laughs> they're basically making the priest a weird, evil magic man. Yep. Bring you SCP-4364, Let Me Eat Cake. Please remember to subscribe. The man sat at the table, holding his shirt up. His body had many tattoos, but the one of himself on his stomach was the most prominent. What? Thank you. That's you can put your shirt down. Is. Right. And plus, the other tattoos are numbers, with one being a panda. Talks about him having loose skin. It said he looks emaciated, not like he has loose skin. What? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> now, uh, and you don't remember anything else? No. The next thing I knew, it was in the morning, and my wife, Bemidel, had brought me some hot tea. The man had lost an inordinate amount of weight in the months since the incident. Where did you find him? The idiot was passed out on the road, holding some child's toy. I told you before, it was not toy. It looked just like me. Also, Here. I want to say, they added a wife. Yep. This is what he was holding. 
My doll. Just like you, huh? She passed the doll to Klaus. It didn't look anything like the man sitting before him. I told you, this isn't the toy. Somebody changed it. May I borrow this? I'll bring it back unharmed once we've had a moment to study it. Please, be careful with it. It was a gift from my first husband. So, this man had his own little Saturnalia. Woke up not knowing where or what happened to him. The result of which is oh, massive, oh, unexplained. Oh, oh I'm just getting mad that I keep bringing her here. <laughs> She's not even connected to the anomaly. Not only is she not related to the anomaly, but she doesn't even look like the SCP she's supposed to represent. Mm-hmm. Blamed weight loss? In a nutshell, he eats and eats, but his weight keeps dropping. Otherwise, he seems relatively healthy. Let me see the doll. Kloss laid it on the pedestal, before Pythia. Let's see what we can see. Here we go again. They were at a funeral. What? Pythia, we're what? too far back. We need to see what happened the night he passed out. The memories lead here. We merely follow what the doll wants to show us. Around the casket stood Bamadella and Benjamin, both distraught and in tears. The man in the grave bore a striking resemblance to Benjamin. This is the funeral of her first husband. But the man, he looks just like Benjamin. Brothers. What? But she married Benjamin after. In some cultures, it's customary for a woman to marry her dead husband's brother. I believe it's called Leveret? In her hands, she clutched the doll. Thank you, Pythia. Wait, the doll isn't finished. They were on a dusty road. The moon shone ahead. Bamadella walked, carrying the doll in her arms. Up ahead laid a body on the road. It was Benjamin. She laid him down in his bed, gently placing the doll on his chest. She took a deep breath and smiled. It's as she said. She found him passed out on the road. She lied. About what? She said she found him with the doll as if he had found that doll on the road, but it wasn't. She gave him that doll that night. Why would she do that? Do you remember that tattoo of himself on his stomach? Yeah, weird. What about it? Wouldn't you say the tattoo is of average weight? Um, sure, I guess. Benjamin was overweight a month ago, and now he's underweight. He was never average weight. What are you saying? The tattoo isn't of Benjamin. It's of his brother. Why? Why? That's the question. <laughs> Could we just say Benj that you put almost nothing accurate at all of to the SCP in the story? Probably, but I want to see where they're going to take this. I want to see if they make it worse. Well, you want to, do you want to see if they add more racism? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay. Benjamin sat on the table, his shirt off. He was all bones and thin skin. Hardly any muscle and fat remained. What also, can you that's tell not us about how you draw someone who looks starving? Yeah. Their nipples aren't just going to drop to their stomach. Mm hmm. About this tattoo of your brother? I had it done not long ago. It was Bemidel's idea to honor my brother, her late husband. I see. Her idea, was it? Yes, indeed. He pulled out a chocolate bar from behind him and proceeded to eat it. Excuse me? I'm always so hungry now. Please go right ahead. Kloss looked over the information on Benjamin's physical exam. Everything appeared to be normal except for the obvious. In the corner of his eye, he saw something move. No, it must have been his imagination. He looked back at the sheets. There, again. It was the tattoo. It was moving. It smiled, and as Benjamin ate, its stomach and entire body, in fact, grew larger. Benjamin, your tattoo! 
My what? What about it? He looked down. What in God's name? Okay, so you got the plan? Mm-hmm. Bamadella uh, so walked into the room. I fucking noticed before. Right. <laughs> sure, he needs a white man to point out that his tattoo can move. Because he wouldn't have seen it any other time. <laughs> You wanted to talk to me. Yes, please have a seat. Good news, we think we know how to treat your husband. You... you do? Yes, even as we speak, he's about to get that tattoo of your ex-husband removed. What? Why? No, you can't do that. Oh? And That's... why is that? I mean... That's what? not how the SCP goes. Right. It would be disrespectful to do so. Oh, well, I think a little disrespect is fine if it'll make him healthy, don't you? She looked down at the floor. So, I'll give the go-ahead to start the tattoo removal then? No! <laughs> okay. Okay. I always despised Benjamin. He was so fat and lazy. Nothing like his brother. I loved him so much. He was taken from me too soon. And Why would they what? add all these things to his character that were never there before? Right, I don't know. I have to marry that fat off? Fine. I did what I had to do. But not for long. The Boko, he said he could bring him back. But Voodoo is not free. A life costs a life. He agreed happily to get the tattoo. He did love his brother very much. From then, it was only too easy to put something in his sodabi that would wipe his memories from that night. What's happening? They're basically saying a life for a life, which is not what voodoo does. Right. You could uh, burn a life away to have someone killed, but that's different. You can't bring people back after they've already been buried. Yeah, the only thing I can think of for a life for a life would be a thing would be from the Necronomicon, which is not connected to Voodoo. Yeah. <laughs> voodoo is a faith of spirits. It's also not the closest to Voodoo in West Africa <coughs> is Vodun, which is basically Voodoo's ancestor. Yeah. They have... I don't even know if they have Bokus. Well, let's see how much worse he gets. The Boko cast the tattoo. Everything he ate would go to his brother's spirit to make him stronger and Benjamin weaker. One day soon, perhaps, the Boko can bring him back. And return Benjamin to what he always was, anyway. A zombie. What? SCP-4364 is a 28-year-old... It no, it's not. Oh, this is so fucking and now they're gonna get into reading the article. <laughs> ...old human male of West African descent who answered to the name of Benjamin Foster. 4364... Wait! <laughs> Random sexism into this magical, magical video. It's from the BSCP. I know, and they got that one wrong. <laughs> or is 1.8 meters tall and 34.5 kilograms in weight. Evidence of extreme malnourishment and malnutrition are present, including ribs visible through the skin, <laughs> extreme lack of muscle mass, and low levels of energy. 4364's appetite is self-described as insatiable, and it will spend most of its waking hours attempting to eat anything it considers to be edible. 4364 has yeah, not I suffered any expected... Yeah. Even now, after they went through their bullshit story, in their description of the SCP, they're basically adding a lot of filler words. Yeah. 
You notice they said all that shit instead of just emaciated like the file says. Mm hmm. <coughs> emaciated, even kids know, by default means a lack of muscle, a lack of fat, and less energy. Yeah. Even I, as a stupid small child, knew these things. Right. Well, let's keep going. Ill effects from consuming materials which would normally be hazardous to human health. 4364 has numerous tattoos, most notably the animate ink figure positions directly over its stomach. As 4364 consumes food, this figure will take on a distended abdomen, grow in size, and attain a content expression. There appears to be no upper limit as to how large the tattoo can become, aside from the actual mass of 4364 itself. Surgical operations to view the stomach of 4364 were conducted on January 2018. It was discovered that 4364 lacks a stomach and instead has a circular opening of immeasurable depth only visible from inside of its body. A small depth tracker was dropped into the cavity. At the time of writing, the tracker has fallen to 4,187 meters deep. 4364 is to be held in a standard humanoid containment chamber on a medical bed. Daily peripheral parenteral nutrition is to be administered via IV drip. Any and all food requested by 4364 is to be provided immediately. There are many obscure and poorly understood yeah. religions and practices still oh, around oh, today. Happened. Though you might not no, believe not. in them, be careful nonetheless to what powers they do hold. You wouldn't want to go through life like a zombie. As always. Also, that was racist, and that was anti-voodoo, and that was anti bottom Removal of characters. <laughs> Let's just put four. <laughs> they changed the character so much and added so many characters that weren't there. That's basically four. All right. They didn't even show his fucking panda tattoo. Yeah. They're never stupid, but come on. Yeah, added gore or violence. Surprisingly, not really that much. Yeah, they did. Think okay. about it. They added the violence. Oh, and violence yeah. Did. They added the magical voodoo bonus. Oh, yeah. I, was, I forgot about that for a second. Yeah. yeah. They added violence. They somehow added violence. They even added violence with the doll. I <laughs> is this a three or a four? How did they do that? I think it's a three. Three. Okay. It's a three because there's not a pile of corpses yet. It was just leading there. Yeah. Deviates from the plot of the article. Four. Yeah, sad. And four for offensiveness. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, five percent. How did they add... How did they... I'm still amazed how they added so much violence. Oh, no. They even mixed the violence with racism. <laughs> 